All right, yo, what is up, guys, and welcome back to a brand new video. And today we have another League SBC drop from EA. Today we got the Super League SBC. Now, I haven't looked at the players, so I'm kind of excited. Um, and I haven't looked at their in-game stats, so we're going to take a look at their in-game stats and seeing how good they are um, and all that good stuff. Guys, drop a like on this video if you guys do like the League SBCs that EA are dropping, because in my opinion, they've done a very, very good job so far with these League SBCs and the players they're deciding to put and the upgrades they're giving to the players. In my opinion, they're doing a very good job up to now. But we're going to go ahead and go into this. Now, we have Arslan who's German, so that's good, and then we have Guilherme, who's Brazilian, so that's decent as well, so let's go look at them, um, let's go into the um, Alan, Alan Yaspor um, team, and let's go ahead and put their concepts in, so we can look at their in-game stats, so let's go to the Super League, let's go for special cards, and they should be right, okay, if I put concepts on, they should be here, um, so there we go, Arslan, and Goharme, the two higher rated, highest rated players in the league now. So we have these two uh, right here. Now, um, let me check actually the, the, re the requirements for these SBCs. So 10, some of them are 10, some of them are 9, uh, but most of them are 11 as usual. So let's go take a look at their in-game stats. I haven't seen their in-game stats how I said. So 5'11", medium, medium. Four-star weak foot is good. Medium, medium is... Medium medium is uh, good for a midfielder. Um, just going to be interesting if he's, his defensive stats are good. Let's let's take a look at him first. So he's five eleven. Shooting is non-existent. Like to finish, actually, that's I don't. How is that shooting seventy seven? That's honestly uh, I don't know about that. Good passing, good pace, um, good dribbling stats. A little low in reactions. Good uh, defending stats. Defensive awareness isn't as high as I probably would say it sh would be to be good enough. Uh, but physical stats are good as well. So I would probably put an anchor on him. An anchor to boost those defending physical and pace to like... The defending and physical to the mid uh, mid to high 80s and then the pace to like almost 90. I think this card would be actually very, very usable. Um, and it's a pretty big upgrade, I believe, from his regular card. So let's take a look at his regular card after. And then we have Gilherme here, who I feel like was, for some reason, I feel like he was a, a silver and they've upgraded him. But 5'9", high, low work rates, left foot, right mid, good start. Three-star weak foot, it's not the worst. It's not the worst. Um, it doesn't kill the card, in my opinion. Four-star skills as well there. Here we go. So, those are those are insane physical stats, actually. Good pace. Honestly, good, not crazy shooting, but honestly, with a, a shooting chem style, if you boost that, he's going to have crazy good shooting. Um, good passing stats, and then dribbling stats are... He's going to feel quick, but he's not going to be able to control the ball that well. Um, so this card is going to be interesting. I'm actually interested to see how this card does play. I feel like this card could be a very good, very good card. It's not an insane card, but it's a very good card. Like, he's going to feel good in-game, I'm pretty sure. Um, and, man, that card's a good card. Arslan, pretty solid card as well. Man, honestly, EA have done a very good job here. Now, let me do this. Let me remove these guys from the squad, and let's go ahead and... Um, Let's go Super League again. Let's go uh, Let's go German midfielder. Let's go special. Let's go concept players on. And then let's compare these. So, okay. Um, oh, let's go gold. There we go. So, uh, for Arslan, we have plus 13 pace, plus 8 shooting, plus 10 passing. Um, what is that? Plus 9 dribbling, plus 10 defending, and plus uh, 13 physical. That's, that's a pretty huge upgrade, honestly, on Arslan. That, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, are giving the nice boost to these cards. And then we have Gilherme. Let's go for Brazilian. I think he's going to be a midfielder as well. So he is. So 75 versus an 84. So we have... Let's do that. Can we do multi-swap? There we go. Let's do that. And then let's do this. So plus two pace only. It would have been cool like 94, 95 pace. Uh, that's a very, very big shooting boost. That's 17 on shooting, I believe it is. <laughs> um, and then we have, what is that? Uh, 14 on passing. And then we have seven on dribbling. Uh, not that big of a defending boost, which doesn't surprise me. And then plus 10 on physical. So he was, is he? he's a regular gold card, huh? Yeah, man. So the cool thing about this is that EA have made a basically pacey, useless, 
Brazilian right mid from the Super League into a very usable card, man. I I applaud EA for doing this. They have done a very good job choosing these SPC um, League players to the point where people will actually want to use them, man. Um, and I feel like Arsene, he's going to be a very similar play to, to player to Goretzka because uh, he's 5'11", he has a four-star weak foot, he's fast, um, and he has that defending and physical uh, stats. So this card, honestly, I don't know why I... Only bad thing about this card is the reactions is a little low, but apart from that, fantastic, fantastic card. Yeah, but shout out to EA, man. Very good job done with the Super League SBC. Now, that is what we got today as in like content for just SPCs, I guess. We still have the Black Friday for another 24 hours, so that's gonna very that's gonna expire very soon. And then we're gonna go into Foot Central, and we also got another league, uh, not a league, a season objective, which is the Black Friday. Actually, Black Friday was still there. It was already there. I don't know why I said that. Real Madrid fourth kit, which is just a kit for playing games and using a Real Madrid player. Um, thing is, if you are registered as a Real Madrid fan on um, on FIFA then they basically just gave it to you so they gave it to me uh which is cool and that was basically all the content for today man nothing too crazy um nothing out of the ordinary uh but flip miss i heard is coming at the end of next week so that should be very exciting guys this is what we'll end the video hope you guys did enjoy i'll see you guys next video on this day and i'm out